purple socks, need purple shoes, rage sport. Like these are definitely the coolest shoes in my shoe collection. Every time I strap on my shoes and get ready to go to work to make the life of children better, I look over my shoe collection and decide, hmm, which color shoes am I going to wear today? Well, today is definitely a purple day. These shoes in my collection are by far the least comfortable shoes to wear. You wear these bad boys for 15 hours a day. It's kind of like wearing high heels. You got blisters on your feet the size of pancakes. But it's worth it because... Uh, kids just love these shoes. Now, I got my purple shorts on. I got my purple scrubs on. The only thing that's really missing is my purple paper crown, which I'll probably put on in a little bit. I took my shower early today, used a purple towel to dry myself, put some purple fabuloso in the toilet to kind of clean it a little bit. Nobody wants to see Mr. Gurr's underground bathroom, I realize, but Mr. Gurr goes to great lengths to make sure that the toilet stays clean with purple fabuloso. Why am I all about the purple today? Well, purple is the color of royalty, and I am having an audience with a queen today, no less, at Dairy Queen at 10 o'clock. So... I'm going to put on my purple shoes, I'm going to put on my purple crown, and I'm going to try my best today to try to get the queen back on her throne where she needs to be. Because you know what? The queen is just as good as I am at making the life of kids better. And she's just an amazing part of the team. And we can't, we can't make it without her. So... Is this going to go well? I don't know. But Mr. Gurr is going to try his best. Clear eyes and full heart. And purple shoes can't lose. Now, I don't know how well this video is going to go. Because usually I make a video on my cell phone every day for my journal. But I need my cell phone as a visual aid to make this journal entry. So... One of the things that I do in my morning routine is I study Russian, the Bronto Mondruk, on my computer. And then I do Duolingo in Spanish. Mucho tiempo ha pasado, pero recuerdo mucho de mi español on my cell phone. So I'm going to do that now. And, I, and my lesson today just blew my hair back. And I don't got no hair, no hair back. But here we, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to have to put the microphone close to the, to see if you can hear it. Welcome back to Lily and Strangers. Lily and Where Strangers. I'm to talk to people I don't know. In it's case very... you care, here are some keywords you should know. Okay. The keywords of the day are, oh man, the glare is terrible. It's terrible. How do I, oh. But anyway. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. We have color, dresses. Uh, what else do we got? Shoes and purple. So the, the letters, the words of the day are dresses, color, marado, purple, and, and shoes. So here we go. Okay. Vestidos. Vestidos. That's dresses. Morado. Morado. That's purple. Color. Color. That's color. That's an easy one. That's a gimme. Zapatos. Zapatos is shoes. My Duolingo is about purple shoes today. I'm Lily, and today we have another guest who wants to talk to me. Tully. Wait. That's crazy. Hola. Soy Carmen. Hola, Carmen. Yo siempre quiero comprar ropa. Sí, yo deseo comprar ropa también. Yo siempre quiero comprar ropa. 
Yeah, hit the giraffe. No, let's not hit the giraffe. No quiero pantalones o vestidos rojos o verdes. No, no, no. Mi color favorito es el morado. Morado. Quiero ropa morada. Mi color favorito Does es Does Carmen morado. like purple? Heck yeah, Carmen likes purple. Mis zapatos y mi cartera son muy bonitos. Y también son morados. Sí, claro. What does Carmen want to buy? Purple clothes. You seem to have a passion for purple apparel. I guess that makes you tolerable. The girl with the purple hair reminds me of Charlotte so much. Or not. Da -da! Yay! Telly, we did it! Telly. Kelly gets a treat for doing his Duolingo. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no, 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 Telly. Well, those are for later. Those are for later. Give me a... All right. This is the first a landmark moment here in the history of the Doodle Diary. For some reason, these colored ink pens were on sale one day at Walmart, so I picked them up, and hey, now I know the reason why. I got myself a purple pen. Today, I got to write with purple ink, draw a purple crayon. The doodling is done. I do not have purple notebooks. I have uh, blue and red, though, and you know what? Blue and red make purple, so I got a pair of these for me. If I need to take notes, I got a pair of these for the queen if she needs to take notes. And you know what? All that remains uh, before I go on this whirlwind adventure no, the bananas for another time. I was indeed a good ruler of King's March for a week, but it might be time for me to put down, for Mr. Gurr to put down the crown and give it back to who it belongs to, the queen. So uh, let's go take a look at that. Let's go take a look at the royal treasury here. I got 82 people living in my town. I have still over a quarter million in the bank. And I have the economy so well-tuned, my city runs on 358 gold coins an hour. That means if I walk away from King's March, my people will be fine. They will be taken care of for 63 days 15 hours, 42 minutes, and some odd seconds. I am a good leader. I'm a little bit crazy with, with some things, you know, hey. But, you know, when you're a, when you're a leader, sometimes you got to think outside the box. It helps. But anyway, it's time to say goodbye to King's March. Say goodbye to the Pirates. You know, I had a great time going on vacation in King's March. Three of my friends, friends died in knife fights. One of them uh, fell overboard on a ship. So, but man, other than that, the memories were amazing. So, uh, I'm going to miss you, King's March.